do that. You know, you, you shouldn't hit a girl. I know you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Um, you don't do that, ever. But in this situation, I mean, I, I had to. Just imagine you're... Okay. Imagine you're saluting, like a flag or something. And, um... You, you just have your hand on your heart. Now make your hand a fist, right? You know? Like, just salute with a fist. And then... Extend your fist straight out in front of you and don't follow through. Like, just straight out, you know? Now imagine that the girl's face was there and you hit him on the left side of their face. And th that's, that's pretty much what happens, except I hit him in the face, yeah. So, um, and they were shocked and they were hurt, you know? I have good punches, I guess, even though I'm tiny. And it was probably the most epic moment of my life and you know it's, it's just great it's like a bittersweet moment like you're smacking your friend and you know you're smack also smacking somebody who's like bullying you sort of you know, it's kind of a embarrassing to be saying I'm bullied by a girl I wasn't really bullied but, oh by the way right here I'm running back and I'm, I'm resting so I rest and then it cuts to the next clip when I got some of my health back okay so they hit me twice. I hit them, and uh, everybody was just watching. At, at this point, they take a power stance and they just plant their feet there, you know. And oh, I can't see the video. I can't see my clip. Hold on. They take a power stance, and um, you know, and I'm just saying, back up, back the f up, back the f up yelling it and um you know they they didn't really back up so there's a scrawny white boy here and um oh my i can see my footage again um there's a scrawny white boy saying back the f up they go closer right so i i push him with both hands i just push him away and then the teacher breaks it up so yeah that was the most epic moment of my life when I hit him in the face, though. Because it was just like giving birth to a baby and, and just losing all that weight at once, you know? But, but I mean, you hit your friend, but... Oh my god, it was amazing. You don't even know. You don't even know. You had to be there. Actually, if you were there, you, you still wouldn't even know. Like, you had to be me. So, um... That's my story. Um... And then I go down to the principal's office, and we both got suspended for a day. I mean, the principal felt bad for it. He, and I know, like, like, I got sent there. He's like, it's cool, it's cool, man, you know, just go through the ropes, I'll, I'll fill out a piece of paper, tell me what happened, it's all good, you know. He walks out, he's like, yeah, you can wait here for a little bit. Comes back. So I decided to suspend you from school for one day. Do you have any questions? Um, uh, no, no, no. You know, I'm not mad, I'm not sad, either. I'm just confused at how it came to that, you know. Then he pulls up the computer and he's like, oh yeah, by the way, you threw, you flung mashed potatoes at somebody. Your sophomore year. I'm sorry, you're done. You're done. Suspended. Dude, don't even bother with that. That's like two years ago, you know. Is this going to affect me going to college? No, no, they don't see it. Whatever. Suspend me. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. It was great. Now, we still got a little bit of the footage left. So now we can talk about how Chris is the biggest creep in the world. And Chris is Matrim Gotham. Alright. So Chris, um, hates me right now. I, I think. He, yeah, he absolutely hates me. <laughs> he absolutely hates me. Um, and here's why. I embarrassed him in front of about five people. Um, you know, I probably shouldn't be telling the story because now I'm going to embarrass him in front of potentially hundreds of people, but, you know, whatever, who cares, um, right, so Chris, there was like five people in the mumble server, and he was there, and I said, he was making fun of me, and then I said something about him cybering a dean, which was hilarious, <laughs> beyond all hilarious, because 
he didn't know I knew about it, and I wasn't supposed to know about it, but you know what, really, who cares, I mean, you did it, so anyways, and I'm, I'm talking about when he, okay, yeah, the cyber part is not bad, it's not that bad, right, but the way he did it was bad, <laughs> he goes, I'm going to draw a line from your knee to your lower rib. <laughs> Is that not brilliant? Is that not like the brilliantest meme ever? Like, can that please be a realms meme? Just everybody run around and say that. Um, anyways. I'm going to draw a knee or a line from your knee to your lower rib. Oh, don't even make an arrow in the knee joke. I swear to God, people. No arrow in the knee jokes. We've already heard all of them. That was probably gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna draw a line from your knee to your lower rib. And I call him out on it. I'm like, hey, Chris. I just owned you. I just totally drew a line from your knee to your lower rib. And he's like, what? <laughs> what? You know, like, oh, here Chris is running away from me. <laughs> he thinks he made it. He's like, yo, man, I'm falling. Look at me, man. I'm, I totally made it away. Let me just chill here, you know? Let me just hope for the heels. Oh, boom. What now, Chris? Okay, anyways. And I call him out at it. And he, he gets mad at me when he's the 26-year-old, like, cybering with a 19-year-old. Like, even if I was wrong in saying that when I wasn't supposed to even know about it, you're creepy, okay? You can't be mad at me for you being a creep. You know, you gotta own it. It was epic walls, and the internet's all about epic walls, even if it puts your in an embarrassing situation, but you deserve to be embarrassed, my god. Learn to cipher. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, first of all, don't do it. If you're gonna do it, don't draw lines from their knee to their lower rib, okay? <laughs> you can't even be mad at me for calling you out on that. That was epic, epic laws. Oh my god. Anyways. Over here, there's a GC in the middle of the fight they have no business being in there they get ganked pretty soon they totally deserve it I wasn't the one that did it but somebody just wrecked them I think they're laughing about it in Mumble right now um there goes Chris again <laughs> and he's like what he acts totally stupid like it never even happened oh my god Chris you deserved it okay now here I'm losing frames on Perhaps, and I'm actually running out of hard drive space. See, it drops down to like 7 frames a second. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching Words of Wisdom with Zeme. And um, subscribe, and maybe I'll make more. If I have more amazing stories, I probably won't.